All right, folks, we have installed the rear brake line for the disc brakes. I had to do a lot of uh, adjustment on this. Uh, I did get this brake line from Osley's with the disc brake kit. But uh, one of the things that I had done was boxed in the side. And normally there are two divots in here because uh, this usually runs back in the C channel a little bit. Uh, but I do have a uh, tube bender and uh, I gently straightened that back out. Now, hopefully I didn't compromise the tubing too much. I know that I can work harden that a little bit and uh, can sometimes weaken it, but we're gonna give it a shot and see if it works. But I, I had boxed this in and uh, what I did was cut a, uh, an oblong hole in there uh, to run this through. This uh, sits, sits in there nice and easy and then routed the, uh, the tube up here. I used the original uh, mounts in here and then I uh, bent this properly uh, to get a nice uh, to get a nice fit. Um, up in the front again I, I did some manipulation here. Uh, I'm probably going to replace this one uh, just because uh, it's it's a little uh, broke up here um, but then again I, I made the contours in here. I'm going to be putting a, a 400 tranny in here without the with the floor console. Uh, this is part of the shift column mechanism for the power glide that was in there. Uh, I, I did run it around that, but uh, and then uh, my uh, kit it has an extension uh, that goes up towards the master cylinder and the stock distribution manifold won't be here anymore and uh and so it, it's relocated towards the uh towards the master cylinder so that is the rear brake line assembly uh all mounted in